Kristaps Kuznetsovs likes to take his bicycle for a spin through Riga, the capital of his country, Latvia. In a few weeks, the 23-year-old will graduate from the university as a construction engineer. He wants to ask at the labor office whether there will be a job for him when he finishes his studies. Unemployment is higher than 14 percent in Latvia. The posted offerings are discouraging. These are mostly service jobs in the restaurant business as waiters or working at a counter. They pay the equivalent of 300 euros a month. There are jobs in technical professions, one for a machine mechanic and one for an excavator operator, for 700 euros a month. Right next door is the placement officer for employment abroad. A Latvian construction engineer can work legally anywhere in the European Union. The official statistic is that seven to 8,000 people leave Latvia each year. With his professional qualifications, Kristaps Kuznetsovs could work in Germany. The, the main thing, the main requirement is a German language and good German. Uh, even uh, even if uh, if you want to work uh, in agriculture sector, uh, so if you if you don't speak German, it's almost impossible to find a job in Germany. Kristaps does not speak German, so first he takes a break in the cathedral square. He paid about 300 euros for his bicycle. That's a month's earnings for many people here. He earned the money as a construction foreman in Ireland. But now he'd like to stay in Latvia. The economic situation will just keep deteriorating if all the young people leave the country. And our pension system will soon collapse if the young people no longer pay into the system. Who will pay for the pensions? Kristaps Kuznetsovs was 14 years old when his country joined the European Union and the economy boomed. The construction industry in particular flourished. Here on the outskirts of Riga, a whole tract of single-family homes was to be built. But the investor ran out of money while the foundations were still being poured. And that's not an isolated case. These houses have been vacant for years. The novice construction engineer takes a close look at them. The insulation is wet. If the insulation is wet, so everything of this will come off. When this was built in 2006 and 2007, the economy was booming. The need was to get everything built fast. Quality suffered as a result. Back in Riga, Kristaps Kuznetsovs pays a visit to an architecture firm. He often worked here as a student. The boss knows him. The firm has several projects in planning. A Scandinavian investor wants to build three new districts in the city. The head of the firm hopes construction will soon flourish again. If our plans are implemented, then I would hire him, especially since he already has professional experience. We can use specialists like him. That would be Kristaps Kuznetsov's first permanent job, and he would be one less young Latvian who left the country.